recently celebrating its 100-year anniversary. The Naval Postgraduate School provides advanced education and research programs to our armed forces in the U.S. and our allies. Operated by the United States Navy, the university grants masters, engineers, and doctoral degrees in varying fields. The Naval Postgraduate School uh, is a place that provides a unique skill set for an officer at the same time that it creates a, a culture and a place where officers from all U.S. services and many international countries um, intermingle. Well, the Naval Postgraduate School has four schools. We have Graduate Sciences and Engineering, we have Operations and Information Sciences, which is a lot of the operations research, defense analysis, computer sciences. We have a business school, and we have the School of International Graduate Studies. So we support students who are doing everything from figuring out how to put something under the sea, manned or unmanned, to building equipment that will be on satellites and space shuttles, to figuring out how to logistically acquire and move equipment in places like Iraq, and a variety of, of different things. Heavy in math, a lot of critical thinking. What's really unique about us is our students, <clears throat> because our students have been in the field and they usually come here to the university right from a field operation, from a ship or from a, another tour or something. So they're bringing in real operational questions and experiences. So as they sit in the classrooms and interact with the faculty and with each other, each other from other services, each other from other nations, they really get to think through issues and problems. And they do a research project as part of their graduate degree. And those are all very applied and very focused. Many will do it based on what they think they'll be doing in their next command. So they're already working on how to apply what they're learning to their next step of their career. During World War II, our nation mobilized from a standing operating force of about 350,000 military personnel to a standing force in excess of 7 million. To get to that standing force, about 12 and a half million men and women enlisted into the services. The Navy needed, as did all the services, needed additional facilities to train personnel for this uh, intensive mobilization uh, and the Navy requisitioned a hundred hotels around the country to, tr to create new training commands. One of the sites purchased by the Navy was the grounds of the Hotel Del Monte, once considered one of the finest seaside resorts in the world. The facilities of the Naval Postgraduate School at the Naval Academy at Annapolis were inadequate to fit the needs of the changing world. The move to Monterey established the world-class university we know today. As I walk around, I see both the present and I have a sense of the past and then, most importantly of all, I have an opportunity to interact with people who are doing things that affect the future in remarkable ways. And that is one of the most striking aspects of being on this campus, that uh, pioneers and visionaries are hard at work today to shape and define uh, some of the important aspects of uh, defense, science, technology, and operations uh, for the future. NPS provides 63 masters, 18 doctoral degree programs and certificates to approximately 1,700 resident students, including more than 200 international students and 800 distributed learning students worldwide. The best and the brightest military officers from the United States and around the world come to study on this beautiful campus, 
located across the street from Monterey State Beach. Graduates have become military and government leaders, scientists, engineers, to astronauts, and more. Like the Defense Language Institute, the Naval Postgraduate School is working to strengthen national and global security.